How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, my client's coming from California to get a cover-up done. When she was 16 years old, she got this moon tattooed on her shoulder that she's no longer feeling anymore. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go! Tell me the story of how you got that tattoo. With oh detail, please. God. I want to hear this. Okay, me and my brother, we wanted to get like matching tattoos and we didn't think about it a lot. And I went and I got mine first. He has the sun, it's not as good as mine. Mine doesn't look that good, but his is a lot worse. Wow. And I go into this tattoo shop, I just walk in. I don't know the guy, I don't make an appointment. I'm like, give me a tattoo artist, give me a time, I want a moon, that's it. He's like, How okay. Old you? I was like 15 or 16 and my mom had to sign for it. Oh, does he it's just? A while. So it's like holding up pretty good for a tattoo that's like four or five years old. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, the lines are anything, really good. It's a well done yeah. tattoo. Yeah, it was $60. I was sitting there. It didn't take long at all. Like, maybe half an hour to an hour. Like, it really wasn't long. And it was after hours because his, his books were closed. So it was oh. after hours. I went at like 9 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Got a tattoo. Oh, wow. I don't even remember his name. I don't remember the name of the tattoo shop. It was somewhere in Ohio. Oh. Shout out to that guy in Ohio. Shout out I don't know Shout his out to Ohio in general. <laughs> Sorry I'm getting it covered up, but hey. it just looks awkward. The ideas that you had. Throw me everything you had. God, I don't even know. Like, mm -hmm. I'm the most uncreative person <laughs> in the entire world. I literally had, like, one idea. Let me see. Throw and okay. I'll help you out. We can branch out of that. The and, uh, goddess and figure Athena. It out. Oh, okay. Goddess of war and wisdom. Nice. And then I, I just looked it up and I found this. Okay. On Pinterest. So, okay, perfect. I'm gonna have you airdrop this uh, image to my tablet. Where's my tablet? A, have you ever tried airdropping things to random people? I just no. airdrop memes there yes. weird videos. Yes. To random I, people. Me and my fiance, we were going to Hawaii and then we're like, you, you know go. what? I'm feeling so great. Let's just drop some like nice quotes to people, like some inspirational <laughs> quotes, you, you know, good vibes. Yeah, yeah you don't have oh, Android? that's right. You you have, have an iPhone. Android. I have an Android. So everything oh is God. so foreign to me. <laughs> Let's get this day started. See it. Damn. You <laughs> <laughs> what? You guys look comfortable as well. <laughs> uh, hey, it's going to be what, seven hours? I'm getting comfy. <laughs> I, I heard him. Well, I'm going. <laughs> Sound like an old married couple. <laughs> <sighs> I have a shopping list that I want to get done by the end of this year, all right? Yeah. I got. My boots knocked off, my beats knocked off, this tattoo get knocked off. <laughs> Alright, relax your arm. So we have Athena here. I ended up uh, customizing the crown because I couldn't find a crown that would fit the head, so I ended up doing it from scratch. Relax your arm. My goal is for the crown, this part of the crown to land exactly right here. So the crown is gonna help me to cover up the moon and the face is gonna be on the blank area so I'm able to add more texture, more smooth uh, shading on the face and, um, and add a whole bunch of details on the hair. Get it! What's up? Hey! Damn! Are we gonna work together? It better not be a small tattoo, bro. No. Okay. Well, all day? It's not be as big. <laughs> <laughs> but is it an all day thing? Are you leaving I'm early? A portrait? I'll be here. Uh, I want to see what you're getting into right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got Athena. Satisfying. Like you hear that little sticky. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Perfect, perfect stencil. Thank you. Man, this stencil is crazy. I really like it a lot. It landed right where I imagined. The line on the moon landed right where the crown ends, or it begins. Perfect stencil. I'm gonna have you check it out on that mirror. Make sure you like the placement. Oh God, I'm gonna look like a badass. Oh, I'm excited now. Let's go. It's real now. You want to be in the video, Kenny? Ugh. 
Nada más avisan a Consenform real quick. <laughs> I need permission. Unlimited Jesus. There you go. That ain't shit. That ain't shit. Four years later. <laughs> right? Yeah. Now, is it? Seven hours later. Seven <laughs> later. Oh my god. Is it like how you were expecting it to feel?
at 5.0 voltage with my 27 curve mag, medium tone, making sure that my background looks looks very different. That way it's not boring, just sink black across the whole thing. If you are planning on using this uh, cartridge here, a 27 curve mag, make sure that you know your hand speed and you know your voltage, you're comfortable with your uh, technique because it is very easy to um, irritate the skin, especially with such a big mag. But once you get the hang of it, it is a lot faster to do backgrounds, less irritation. And here I'm just, I started off with my solid black and slowly dipped it into my medium gray and fading it out. That way it has, you know, it's fun to look at. Now I'm moving to my lightest gray just to start fading it out to this area here. And that way it's, uh, a smoother transition so right now I believe it's been no more than three minutes and I'm already I'm moving I'm moving fast thankfully <laughs> for you yeah I'm ready to go <laughs> What the fuck? You gonna start making me act up. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. That's all I needed. Break time. Yep. Fuck. Okay, ow. <laughs> oh my fucking god, I hate myself. <laughs> I'm gonna start with my solid black. The reason why I'm starting on this area is because I really want to test how dark the line work on the moon really is. Once I figure that out, I'll, make, I'll adjust my tones and making sure that I, I navigate through it nicely to make sure that it's not just dark. You know, I want to be able to have dimension to it. I want to be able to add dimension and texture, details. Let's see. There you go. The reason why I'm using a 14 round liner to um, to do the texture inside the crown, it makes it way easier to pack in this uh, to pack it in and do a uh, easier cover up. The Mac is more forgiving with the skin, so what it does, it just bounces back. So it makes it a little bit harder to pack in the color. And with the liner, it's much easier. As I get closer to the wings, I'm gonna keep making it darker to give it that illusion that it's curving. So what I did right now, since it is painful, I added, um, I sprayed a Bactine on her or a Laticane to numb her skin. That way uh, she's able to continue and not put her through a whole bunch of pain for no reason. Did it help? Absolutely. I don't feel that. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> is it cool if I include the, the part when you were cussing at everybody? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> It's the top of the shoulder, y'all. The <laughs> shit hurts. Yeah. One thing about uh, color blue on skin is that if you if you're using true grays to cover it up, it's way easier because true grays and blues are very close to each other, so it cancels each other out. It, they just cancel each other out, so it, it definitely helps to to have uh, blue ink on skin 
if it was red, you gotta use some dark colors. Because red is so powerful that it's gonna overpower any gray tone. How's that? I didn't even know you started. Nice. <laughs> Five stars. Hell yeah. Five stars on Google. Did you expect it to hurt that much as it did? This part hurt the most. Yeah. But you were fine throughout the whole session, huh? It was just that shoulder that got you. That fucking shoulder. Oh. Would you do it again? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming back and watching this brand new video. I really appreciate it. See you guys next week. And if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.